All right, we got some Dragonflight Prepatch Class Tuning, 11-1 Windwalker, Holy Priest Nerfs, and Elemental Shadow Buffs. So let's check it out. This came out Tuesday. I don't know which day. What is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, the first, I'm pretty sure it came out. 18 hours ago is when it came out, so. Um, we're just gonna look at the priest ones, so we got some changes here. Also, Crystal and Reflection, it reflects 6 to 12% of damage absorbed was 10 to 20%, so we're looking at a little bit of a nerf right here. I don't think we're really gonna need any more, you know, um, versus melee. We have a lot versus melee. We don't have Shadow Mend anymore, so we're gonna have to be really careful when we're casting Flash Heal, because if we get kicked on that, we obviously cannot... Rapture, Radiance, you know, Penance. We can't do anything. But we can Mind Control, so you're going to want to uh, try to bait Kicks with Mind Control if you can. If you if you can't get the Juke, if you don't feel comfortable, you can Mind Control and get the Kick. And, um, yeah, I don't think we need any more. So this is not terrible. This is a... I don't know if this was doing a lot or not. I remember, I think it was ticking like 1,000. So, well, like four or 5,000 or something damage each uh, six seconds. I don't know if that was needed, but, you know... It's a, it, maybe they're in the right uh, direction, I don't, I don't know. My name's damage reduced by 25% for Shadow and Holy. Yeah, I was having so much fun. Literally one-shotting people in Battlegrounds. <laughs> this thing was so broken. Oh, I have, I have videos of it, the YouTube shorts. I'm actually about to upload another one. Oh, I played some today with it nerfed already. And uh, it's still strong. It feels like it's where it needs to be. Even... It still feels strong, but maybe that's what they want. Maybe that's how it should be. I, I love it. I, I don't know. I, I love it. <laughs> I personally love it. <laughs> I do think it will be a little annoying to play against Affliction Warlock Shadow. I mean, uh, yeah, Affliction Warlock Shadow Priest or something along those lines where somebody mind games and then, uh, you know, you have UA on you. You got hit by insanely hard and then you if you even try to dispel... You know, you're not going to have Aegis to Aegis and then Dispel, you know, for Rapture or something, then Dispel. Also, that would that would hurt. So yeah, Mind Games is a, I don't, I don't think this is really a big deal at all. Now, Holy, Holy has a lot of burst damage, so, um, I don't know. I, I guess it's alright. This is what I was worried about. Mind Games damage reduced by 50% for Discipline. Now, 25% for Shadow and Holy, no. Oh, you know, no. <laughs> it's not a big deal. 50% for discipline that ouch i'm scared rmp rogue mage is gonna be good because holy damage is insane the burst is it's but it's better than discipline damage burst in my opinion what i've seen so far maybe not an actual dragon fight it won't be with uh if we're using tier sets i haven't really looked at them but we'll see i guess power word radiance for discipline power word radiance applies to atonement at 50 percent duration with 60 percent the nerf oh this is a I think this is shooting towards people running the new talents maybe people were just people were looking at this one talent where it increases your atonement every time you penance by one second i think and i think that's how it runs and uh yeah i don't think people are really picking it all too much um shadows back right now and i think they're wanting to give that more i think they're wanting to give the uh talent make it better is what i'm trying to say and then uh yeah so i don't think this is bad power Road radiance healing is increased by 30 percent Oh, yay! That would be so amazing if Ultimate Radiance wasn't getting nerfed. <laughs> Ultimate Radiance increased the healing of Power Word Radiance by 100%. Was 150%. I don't think it keeps on popping up on my screen. Um, Evangelism. So this this is, a, this is just, bruh. <laughs> so we get a buff in PvE and a nerf in PvP? Oh, amazing. No, I don't know. I think um, Radiance is uh, good like how it is. I think it costs a lot of mana. I don't know if it's just because I haven't played too much on pre-patch. I haven't done really threes, but it feels like when I'm in battlegrounds and I'm in twos, especially 2v2, I don't know if there's something different with dampening or something. I feel like I go oom so fast. <laughs> so so fast it's kind of ridiculous how um, uh, um, how fast i go um i can't talk evangelism cooldown increased to three minutes was uh one and a half minutes oh evangelism what is evangelism i'm disciplined a main and i don't even know what that is hold on we're about to figure out what that is we're gonna go down lights wrath damage increased by 25 percent i tried this on the beta and I hit somebody with Light's Wrath, and I instantly right-clicked the talent, took took it away, and played something else because I was like, "Huh, oh, well that was cool. It didn't do any damage though. So, <laughs> it didn't do any damage at all. <laughs> and that's Light's Wrath. 
What is evangelism? I can't even think of what that is. It extends the duration of all your active atonements by six seconds. That's the, I know what that is. It's a PVE talent, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've never ran it in PvP. I don't know if it's good for rated battlegrounds. I've never tried it because I've just thought it sounds terrible. It sounds like a terrible ability. Or maybe um they're uh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if that was overpowered or something. That cooldown is big though. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's a big cooldown. Three minutes from one and a half. That's big. I don't, you know, drop the comments if you know if that's bad in PvE or not. But Light's Wrath gain 6% damage per ally affected with atonement was 10%. Oh, oh, right. I did see that. I didn't try it though. I just tried the, um, the, uh, you know, just using Light's Wrath on a single person without atonement on anybody. But I guess that would be a lot stronger. I'm now 25%. Okay. I see how this is. You're not going to be able to be in like a rated battleground radiance 10 people and then your lights wrath one shot somebody i guess that's that's what I, i'm seeing so i'm kind of mad because i didn't try i did not try to one shot people and somebody uh, and i have a storm with that in the pre-patch so i missed my chance hopefully i can find somebody on youtube that did it i think it's good though i think it's a good change good change good change i'm renewing heal okay so holy renew healing reduced by five percent prayer of healing reduced by five percent flash heal reduced Reduced by 5%. Heal healing reduced. Prayer of healing. Wait, what? what? Prayer of mending. Prayer of healing reduced. Sanctify reduced. Serenity reduced. Circle reduced. Ripple reduced. Reduced. Divine Reduced. Salvation reduced. They just got a 5% healing nerf across the board, it looks like. I was not really thinking they were overpowered or anything. Maybe they needed this? I don't really know. I played a little bit of Holy so far. I've tried it out, but I haven't really, I haven't really, um, thought they were overpowered or anything. I thought they are, I, I think Holy should be a healing class, a healing, healing, healing class. I don't think it should really be damage class because you're looking at a priest with two healing specs and one of them is literally known for da damage. It's you do damage to heal. And then the other one is holy holy heals right is that, is that just me i think holy should have the most healing output whenever it comes to uh just straight healing and then discipline should do more damage than holy and that's how it heals that's what i think maybe that's how it still is but i was playing two so far and i noticed that the holy priest i was facing doubled my damage and i do a lot of damage playing disc I know how to play disc, I, I do a lot of damage in disc, and he still doubled my damage. It was, I noticed it. I noticed it. I definitely noticed it. Um, so for Shadow, um, yesterday when I was playing, let me think, I've been playing Shadow for the past few days, and my thoughts on it are, it's crazy damage. <laughs> it's just nuts. It feels like I'm, my AoE is crazy, my single target is insane, my single target is insane damage. And I just pump. It is so much fun. I've been messing with it. Uh, the, the you know, the class, the, everything that's new is super fun. The damage being super high makes it super fun. And everything along those lines. And let's, let's see this. Shadow or pain damage increased by 10%. Oh yeah, needed. Needed. Totally needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah totally needed. Oh, mind blast damage increased by 10%. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Inskit torment damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Shadow or death. Uh, increased. You know what? All of these look increased to me. Uh, okay, increased, 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 increased. Let's just go down here. Mind spike, mind flay, devouring plague, mind spear. Um, yeah, void torrent, shadow. Cr okay, pretty much just we got a damage buff by 10%. Oh yeah, yeah, um, we totally needed that, that's the end. Uh, <clears throat> no, no, no. Yeah, so, oh boy. Oh boy, goodness gracious, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know this is before Dragonflight's even dropped. 
but hot damn like that's a lot of big buffs right that's 10 percent across the board for shadow when shadow was pumping already i was okay yes i i noticed that my mind games i did play a little bit today on shadow and i noticed my mind games was not hitting as hard i was not hitting 40,000, literally 40,000 mind games anymore i was hitting around like 20,000, 30,000s. and um but i noticed whenever i would just devouring plague you know i'd dot somebody up and then i would start mind play insanitying them their health just was just drop you know it's like i didn't even need my cooldowns really to just burst anybody down anymore it's like i was always bursting and uh shadow's looking kind of insane right now definitely say that it's one of the top classes in my opinion but i don't know about creep i'm hoping they can separate shadow priest from affliction warlock i really do but you know his Every single time you would think about bringing a Shadow Priest into a Raided Battleground or Arena, you would literally be like, why not just bring an Affliction Warlock? They're better in damage. They're better in healing. They have ports. They have health uh, stones. They have a pet. They can sit bases. They can do literally anything a Shadow Priest can do, but 10 times better. Hey, <laughs> so I don't really know what to say about that. I hope they can find a way to separate them. Oh, yeah. I don't know how they would do that either, but I think uh, Shadow Priests are looking really good so far. And Affliction Warlocks, though, their damage is still just out of this world. And I think it's uh, I think it's something to do with their legendaries and covenant ability stacking up with some other stuff. So I'll have to wait until Dragonflight to actually see with all of that. But I'm liking how Shadow Priest is looking so far. But I think it might be a little overtuned. I'm not going to lie. I think it might be a little overtuned. I haven't fought anybody fully geared, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I might have to queue some arenas to try it out. Definitely. And uh, yeah, for the healing nerfs that I actually know about. Well, you know, these aren't, uh, it's not too fun to see, but they're not, it's, they're not too bad really they're really not that bad and i like the lights wrath uh, change maybe i'll try it out and play around with it try to one shot somebody with uh, radiancing 20 people and then hitting somebody well, mind games for discipline for 50 percent that is kind of sad that i'm not gonna lie that that one's that one's it that one's that's the only bad one i'd say i don't really uh eh, that sucks well so we might see a buff though it might get reverted or something you know increased by 25% so it's online with these two but we'll have to see also go check out my twitch.tv tar underscore wow it'll be in the description